In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to use foods to reduce your ADHD symptoms. We all know food is good and bad depending on what foods we do eat, but how can we actually help our ADHD brain improve? What do we need to do specifically? So let me talk about three areas that I think are really important when it comes to the types of foods to implement what we need to be doing with our body's physiology to reduce those ADHD symptoms. The thing that you need to kind of keep in mind is us people with ADHD, if we could do the best we can by eating better foods, we have better chances of having better focus. Then whereas the neurotypical person, of course, you know, they can kind of get away with a little bit more. Whereas us with ADHD brains, we need to be a little bit more efficient on the things that we do eat on a daily basis. So I want you to focus on these three things as far as how you can use foods to reduce your ADHD symptoms. The very first one is you need to stay Stabilize your blood sugar levels. Now, why this is important? Because if we don't have stable blood sugar levels throughout the day, our focus is all over the place. It could be up, it could be down, it could be all over the place if we do not have stabilized blood sugar levels. Now, how do we actually use foods to stabilize those blood sugar levels? Well, the best way is to try to get protein at every single meal. And the reason why is because protein does help stabilize that. Whereas if you are eating a very, you know, simple carbs all the time and eating lots of sugar and junk food, that is definitely not going to stabilize your blood sugar levels. So by eating protein, high amounts of amino acids, really dense protein. So even, you know, things like as beef, lamb, venison, those things also have very rich amounts of different types of amino acids. And this is going to help stabilize the blood sugar levels so that you have consistent focus, tension throughout the day, but also energy throughout the day so that you, when you reach adulthood and even older in your forties and fifties and still have an ADHD, you don't reach burnout. The second very important thing to use for having food to help with your ADHD symptoms is improving your digestive tract and using foods to stimulate the digestive system. Now with ADHD, it's very common. I see with my patients and clients where their digestive system isn't functioning very properly. And when it's not functioning properly, guess what? The brain does suffer. It doesn't get the nutrients it needs. And therefore it also doesn't get the neurotransmitters that it needs to build those types, use those types of nutrients to build those types of neurotransmitters. So what foods can you do to stimulate the digestive system? So you're not always relying on supplements. Well, the biggest ones are trying to focus on bitter and sour foods. So this can be like kombucha, lemon and lime, uh, grapefruit, hundred percent cranberry juice. Also even salsa fresca, you know, fermented pickles, sauerkraut, all these things that we tend to not necessarily always like because it's more bitter, it's more sour, but that's what does stimulate the liver. It also stimulates the gallbladder. It stimulates our digestive system and it also creates and helps within our saliva stimulate more saliva digestive enzymes throughout our saliva throughout our digestive tract when we eat more bitter and sour foods people in russia you know get this because they do when i lived in russia for a while they did eat a lot of different sour and bitter foods you know kimchi um kefir you probably don't haven't heard of that that's a very sour type of yogurt but these also have natural probiotics that are also really good for the gut flora to help break down your foods having good bacteria but also stimulates a lot of the different pancreatic enzymes naturally versus having to use a supplement. Now, again, why this is important to focus on the digestive system is because it is ultimately what is feeding our brain. And if we aren't having nutrients being fed to our brain to build those neurotransmitters, guess what? We're going to suffer from focusing, be able to pay attention, to be able to do our, you know, have executive functioning, be able to do our tasks, time management, all the different planning and stuff like that to remember things if we are not getting the proper nutrients to our brain. The third thing that is really important to use food to reduce your ADHD symptoms is you first should run some tests to be able to see where you have nutrient deficiencies. Because if you have specific nutrient deficiencies, such as magnesium, zinc, iron, which are very common with people with ADHD, but also specifically looking at different types of neurotransmitters that rely on different amino acids. So also running tests on amino acids that could be deficient, that aren't building those types of neurotransmitters can explain a lot of why you have these ADHD symptoms to begin with. And then when you know those tests, then you know what types of foods to be focusing on and trying to gear towards your your diet by consuming more of those types of foods. But more importantly, when you are running more specific tests, it becomes more individualized as a treatment plan as well as foods versus just a randomized diet. Some of those fad diets that are out there that can be great, but it isn't customized to you. So when you're running testing, then it is more customized to you. Therefore, you're going to be more committed to following through and eating those types of foods to reducing those ADHD symptoms. But if you really want to know what is going to help you improve your focus and attention to be able to have an optimal mind, then watch my free focus mindset training right here 
right here. You just click right here and it goes to my training that you can watch and it goes over my proprietary process helping you have an optimal mind and a more focused mind. So watch the training right here and I'll see you guys in that training.